Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation. This is Softreasy. We will be making a bit advancement on the use of plotter structure as we shall be looking at how to group beans. If I should navigate to the plan view as we will be considering this structure as the working structure. And then I go straight away to the stories and then I go to plan view. You will notice that plotter structure generates details on each of these beams. Oh, there is a way you can group them so as to reduce the rate of details of this beam or the numbers of details by grouping this one and this one as well as this one as the same beam in your detail drawing. And so that is what we are going to be considering in this lesson. So straight away, let's proceed. I want to navigate also to the 3D to have that. Try the way it is. All right. So what I want to do first and what you need to do first is to run analysis once more. So I'll go to the analysis tab straight away. Click on the building analysis. Now click right there. Everything has been set successfully. I'll go straight away to analysis tab. And first of all, run building check to see if I have any error in the structure. I click on start. But I can see uh, the building model check completed, the number of errors is zero. So I don't have any error, I don't have any issue with this uh, model. I click on closed. I go straight away, I check my columns and my bin. And then I click on start analysis. All right, so after having done with the analysis successfully, click on OK. I want to close this right away. Now, we can now proceed by going straight away to the concrete design tab, click right there, and select the reinforced design. The navigator beams, story beams, click right there. All right, so you have all of these beams, and some are failing, all right, but that's no issue. Okay, we want to straight away go to filter at first, and then we will be filtering by stories, and we also filter by numbers. All right, and we'll select the story we are going to consider. We have up to seven stories, okay, and in this lesson, we will be considering, this, considering the six stories for the sake of time. All right, having that selected, we just have to click on, okay, and you will have all of this. All right, we are having three beams here failed, so what we need to do is to run interactive design, so as to make them pass the design. You can see the utilization ratio here is 1.2 four which is greater than one that is what is making these beams to fail all right so just click right there on that one go straight away interactive design tab click there click on yes and here we'll be having this you can see this beam is failing here you need to increase the button down to 3y16 that is it in this position you increase this top to 3y20 all right so that has passed click on ok Come straight away to this one, do the same thing, relative design, all right? And nothing is actually failing, not the bottom, not also the top ribbon is failing here. So click on OK, that will pass, all right? Go straight away again. The last one. All 
Now, if you check very well, you can just use this uh, screw bar to extend it this way to actually check what is actually wrong. Okay, you can see we have not having any red uh, sign at the top or bottom reinforcement. So, nothing's actually wrong with this. Click on OK. All right, so having all of this being passed just like this, we want to proceed by going into grouping tab, click right there, and you have all of this. Go straight away to the advanced, the under automatic uh, grouping. Click right there in the drop down, select group or similar axis. You click right there, and the program will ask a question. All on group axis will be group automatically. Do you want to continue? Yes. Yes, this has been grouped successfully. And here we notice that after grouping, you see some of these beam also failing. So we want to be running karate design on each of them. So we'll go back to the design tab, highlighting, highlighted the fail member, click on interactive design. So you use the screw bar to actually check what is failing right there. See nothing, but it is it was due to the grouping. All right, you can see that particular beam has passed. Go straight away to this one, and then interactive design. All right, nothing is actually failing, but due to the grouping, all right, that has also passed. All right, uh, the top uh, rebar is falling right here, so you have to increase this to 3, Y16, okay? The same thing applicable here, this one, you increase it to 3, Y16, and here is supposed to be 3, Y20, all right? Click on, okay. Okay, so we have all the beams now passed. Now, I want to be showing you something in a minute. If you check on the quantities, you can see 1, 2, Two, five, one. Okay, so if I should select these two now, you will notice that this particular one is selected, and this one is also highlighted in a light uh, yellow color, meaning this beam and this one are being grouped together. You can see there beam number nine. Okay, this one also number nine. Same thing applicable to uh, this one. Okay, you can see number nine and also number nine. If I select this five, group five, you can see this one also is five. This one is also five. So we have five of these being grouped together to form a single beam. Alright. So if you also check the utilization ratio, you see everything is less than one. Alright, so having this group just like this, we want to go and export this into protabitor and straight away we want to be closing this dialog click on the close button and we will go straight away to concrete tab click right there and then load prota detail you click on the prota detail give the progress of seconds to load prota detail successfully So, total detail is loaded, and so we want to be producing the detail drawing of the beam with just groups. Alright, so I want to start by creating new drawing. I click right there, and I will go straight away to story beam elevation drawing. Click on this to bring it down, and the beam consigned was a story 6, this one. So I'll just select it just like that, right click, and then click on create beam elevations. Not one by one, but this one, click right there. And so this will show you this dialog. In this dialog, you just have to click on draw, and straight away, click at any point on the scene area. Give the program some seconds to draw all the details of the beam of story 6. Alright, so having the beam draw successfully like this, let us zoom in and check 
the effect you have added successfully. So if you zoom closely to this beam, you can see this beam. It's having a similar beam. Six, one, two, six. All right. There is a similar beam also here. There is also a similar beam here. The same thing applicable to this one. You are having a similar beam. So instead of total structure to now produce this beam times two or times three is now producing just one to represent the other two since they are the same beam. So this is how to create a similar beam successfully using a uh, total structure. I believe strongly that you have uh, learned one or two things in the lesson. Give the lesson a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed and stay tuned for more advanced lessons of this kind. Bye for now.